everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk to you about what a local New Orleanian brings to the Mardi Gras parade route. So let's dive right in. First off, I want to wish you guys a happy holidays. I'm sure all the presents have been unwrapped, the new year has been rung in, and you guys are getting back to your everyday life. But here in New Orleans, we are just starting Mardi Gras season. Mardi Gras is on a different day every single year, but it always kicks off on January 6th, which is King's Day, hence our Mardi Gras decorated tree. So we are super excited to get this carnival season rolling. Every year people ask me, what do you bring to the parade route? We did another video linked below that will talk about what tips for surviving the parade route, but this one is specifically on what items I carry with me. These items apply whether you are walking to the parade route from your home or your hotel, whether you are driving in from an hour away, or whether you are flying in on a plane. These are items I would recommend every single person bring with you to Mardi Gras. At the end, I will feature a few extra items if you really wanna be super prepared, but let's start with the basics. First off, you're gonna need a bag for all of your things. I recommend a fanny pack or belt bag as all the cool kids are calling them these days. As luck would have it, these are back in fashion. I think they wear them this way around their shoulder instead of on their waist. But regardless, a bag that will allow you to keep all of your belongings on the front of your person um, for safety and security reasons. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on to show you. I actually caught this one at a parade. So sometimes you can even catch cool and useful things, but you can buy them um, at a local store on Amazon. We've linked one below that you might wanna check out. The whole idea though is at Mardi Gras, you're going to a parade, you're catching things, your hands are up in the air, you are not paying attention to what's happening down here, you don't want anything to fall out, you don't wanna get pickpocketed. So this is safe on the front of your body, whether you wear it around your waist, across your shoulder, however it works with your Mardi Gras outfit. So that's the first thing you need. Second thing, and this is probably the most important out of everything else, get yourself a portable phone charger. Every single year, you find someone on the route that is stranded, they've lost their friends, they can't get in touch with anybody because their phone died, they don't know anybody's number because it's 2023, nobody memorizes phone numbers anymore, and this will save your life. Your battery drains so much faster than you think it's going to at Mardi Gras. You are filming all the really cool bands, all the floats as they go by, your device is trying to find service and it's not because there's a bazillion people any everywhere, so your battery dies super fast. I like this one because you don't need a cord, it's magnetic, but really it doesn't matter what kind you have as long as it will charge your phone so you can call your friends and find out what bar they hop to after the parade route. So I prefer this one because it is cordless and easier to fit into my fanny pack, but any battery charger will do. We have linked ones below that we recommend, and of course we are Amazon affiliate partners, which means that if you click on a link, we might get compensated just enough to buy one beer at Mardi Gras this year. Maybe two if my husband is lucky. The next item I have on my list is going to be cash. New Orleans is a cash-friendly city. I know a lot of places have gone cashless these days. That's just not the case here. There are times when the internet connection isn't working so they can't run a credit card. Um, vendors for a quick transaction prefer cash. I also recommend change. Um, I don't bring anything larger than a 20. Some ones are also helpful if you need to tip somebody. Stop by the ATM when you get here or on your way into town and get some cash. It will make your life so much easier and it will make the vendors and bartenders like you more. Along with cash, of course, is going to be your identification and credit cards because you just have to have those these days. I get a small little compartment to store all that in. Don't bring all of your cards with you. There's no sense in case something is lost. Just bring one credit card and your ID. I like to put these in the back pocket. So if your bag has a back pocket for security purposes. The next one is going to be weather related items. So you might wanna do a little research on what day you're coming, but the weather here can be, we can get four seasons in one day. So you wanna be prepared. So first off, sunglasses. I actually got these also at a local parade. But if it's bright out and you're looking up, sunglasses, definitely gonna be really useful. Depending on what side of the route you are, you might be getting sun in your face for multiple hours on your arms. So always bring a little bit of sunscreen to protect you. You don't wanna have half of your face burn when you return home from your Mardi Gras trip. Finally, a poncho, because thunderstorms will roll in out of nowhere and you will get soaking wet. Um, this is not a raincoat or an umbrella, but it will get you to the place you're staying, a bar or a restaurant to pop in, without getting completely drenched. These storms roll in from out of nowhere. They last about maybe 20 or 30 minutes and then pass, which is great, but for that 20 or 30 minutes, you will want a disposable poncho that afterwards you can just take off and toss because it's soaking wet and you're not. 
So all these items go in the fanny pack. I'm gonna hold off on the sunglasses just because those fit in better last. So the next item on our list is going to be in the cleanliness category. I cannot recommend some of these enough. We're gonna start with some antibacterial wipes. Mardi Gras can be messy for lack of a better word, whether you're eating street food out on the parade route or you can't find a sink after you go to the restroom. These are going to be your best friend to grab one, wipe off your hands, throw it away. A second to that is going to be a pack of travel size Kleenex. Um, as you probably have heard, there ain't nowhere to pee on Mardi Gras day, and that goes for pretty much the entire two weeks of Mardi Gras. Restrooms are hard to come by. If you do find one, it might be a portalette that doesn't have any toilet paper in it. It might be a bar or a restaurant that's run out of toilet paper. So I always keep these on me for me and my friends. So when you do find a place to go to the bathroom, if there's no toilet paper, it's not a big deal. Ladies, this is especially important for you. If you've ever found yourself in a portalette without toilet paper, let us know in the comments below. We would love to get a good laugh out of your story and you can thank me later for this hot tip. And just as a side note for restrooms in Mardi Gras, there are a lot of rules that are not enforced by the police during Mardi Gras, but peeing in public is still one of them. They will arrest you. So 10 out of 10, do not recommend going to jail for peeing in public. Find a bar, buy a drink, find a restaurant, find a porta potty. A ton of churches and schools will offer them for a small fee during the day. It is worth the five or $10 you will spend to not sit in jail for four days if you get arrested for peeing in public on a Saturday. And the final cleanliness item, of course, is going to be hand sanitizer. Ever since the pandemic, I think everybody is aware of travel size hand sanitizers, but they work great. Again, not all facilities are going to have running water and a sink to wash your hands. Honestly, some of the throws we catch, you don't know where those have been. So anytime before I eat something, I sanitize my hands. Another item that I absolutely love to have is a Mardi Gras cookie where any type of koozie really keeps your hands warm and your drink cold. So if it is really hot outside, then this bad boy is keeping whatever drink you have, even if it is just a water, nice and chilled. If it is freezing outside, which sometimes it is, this is insulating your hand from the drink. Can't go wrong. I caught this one at a local Mardi Gras parade, but again, you can find these a dime a dozen anywhere. Bring one with you. It is thin, it is skinny. It doesn't matter if you lose it. It will help you at some point. And my final fun item is going to be a little bit of glitter. This might look different for you, whatever fun, festive item brings you joy. In New Orleans, we are all about celebrating, we are all about having a good time, and you don't have to dress up, but you'll probably make a few more friends if you do. So I love my little travel glitter that I can put on my face and share with others while we're out having a good time. In the fanny pack it goes. Now's the moment to add any extra personal items. I always towed a chapstick and a pair of earplugs because when that tuba is five inches from your face, you are going to want them. But if you don't have anything else to add, you can put your sunglasses on top. And now you're ready to go to a Mardi Gras parade. I do have a few additional items I wanna talk about for those of you guys who are gonna be troopers and staying out on the route for hours at a time. I'm going to recommend any type of collapsible, reusable bag. I like this one. It unfolds, shakes out, goes over the shoulder, but really whatever works for you. So here's a few things that I've caught that absolutely must go into the bag and that's why we bring one. Hand decorated painted mask, beautifully well done. Absolutely need this for my fireplace mantle. In the tote bag it goes. Some cups, because you can never have too many of those, unless you live in New Orleans, in which case you absolutely have too many. But in the bag it goes. A blanket that folds out and you can sit on to enjoy while you're on the parade route. Definitely not leaving this bad boy behind. In the bag it goes. And finally, a cowbell because when in doubt, you always need a cowbell. So now I have one final item, and that's going to be the backpack cooler. 10 out of 10 would recommend bringing these, especially if you have somebody else, like a friend, a partner, a spouse, a significant other, to tote it around for you. But if you don't, it's still worthwhile carrying, and it's great to fit in bottles of water, cool beverages, I'm out on the parade route, I'm front and center, I've got the best spot, there's 10 people deep behind me, the last thing I wanna do is leave to go get a beer or a water or a snack, whatever you want, can go in this so it's right at your fingertips to access when you're on the route. Fits 
tons of items, as you can see. Even more items when my husband's carrying it. Side pockets, you can put extra hand sanitizer, sunscreen, any other items that we've discussed that you might need. Front pocket, perfect for extra koozies because now you have extra drinks. And I can't recommend this enough. Just a side note on this, if you do bring one of these, which you should, do not put glass in them. It's not allowed in the parade route. Make sure for everybody's safety, you stick to bottled or canned drinks only, but this is the way to go. So once I put my backpack on, I am now all set to go to the Mardi Gras parade. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give us a like. It helps other people searching for similar tips to locate this information. If you want to keep up with more of our Mardi Gras shenanigans, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We can't wait to see you on the route and in the next video.